DeSantis actually did come out like in the first few minutes. And you could tell he was definitely coached better mm -hmm. than he was prior to the first debate because he came out, he had some fire. He was like, I'm gonna go after Donald Trump. And then that tank hit empty about five minutes in. <laughs> he he went so many long stretches of time where he just he didn't even speak. So whatever they told him right before he went on, he was like, Yeah, okay, totally. I got it. I'm gonna do it. But he didn't keep it up. And and this really for DeSantis, this was his make or break it moment. I mean, the yeah. first one was make it or break it. He didn't make it. So this is all right, man, you got one more shot. Can you do it? And the answer was no. I mean, you know, yeah. Ramaswamy uh came out, was was the loudest on stage by far, obviously, had uh, the always. tallest <laughs> hair. And <laughs> so he dominated that stage. And Chris Christie, you know, for all of his trying, yes, I, I'm sure he spent forever coming up with that one liner there. But all he's able to do is talk about Trump. And mm -hmm. it's like, cool, dude, that's kind of like our job to to call him out and make fun of him. Um, you're supposed to actually be talking about policy. We get it, man. Trump is terrible. The worst there is, but you have to come with something better. And he's a one trick pony. And I'm shocked he's even still in this race, to be honest with you. So that's my big takeaway is Ramaswamy dominated, DeSantis fizzled quickly, and Chris Christie, boy, it's just getting tiresome to listen to him talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's just stick on the who won and who lost before we get in obviously the real issues. But I do want to just jump down because uh, uh, it seems like voters agreed with your assessment. Um, let's jump down to graphic 11. This is from the Daily Mail, always got a caveat, but hey, they've got their finger on the Republican pulse. Uh, who is the winner of the second debate? Donald Trump number one. <laughs> so <laughs> the Donald Duck line didn't take him down. Um, but again, he's the front runner. Vivek Ramaswamy. 26% said, 17% DeSantis, and then Nikki Haley, six, Mike Pence, six, Tim Scott, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Chris Christie, 3%. Um, five, I mean, you know, when you get beat out by I don't know who won, that's rough. That's, you know, can it be a ranked <laughs> choice? Can we do that? Um, but also, uh, voters in Iowa, again, uh, the first primary state, also gave their thoughts. Uh, this is what they said to CNN about who won. Who you think did best during this debate? All of you. Bergam. One. Christie. Okay, so his toughness didn't appeal to anybody tonight. DeSantis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Haley. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pence. Ramaswamy. One. Scott. All right, so it looks like DeSantis, the winner. Okay, so maybe DeSantis coming out swinging a bit on Trump uh, worked on these Iowa voters. You saw nobody raise their hand for Pence. In fact, there was a little bit of a chuckle there. One guy for Burgum, I love that one dude. Um, again, this is all just randomized and unimportant, but somehow given our voting process, important that we care about these same Iowa voters we just sort of roll out of a closet. Um, not a lot for Ramaswamy, but a lot for DeSantis and then Nikki Haley actually, whose line of the night was to Ramaswamy and they've been going at it for a while, was something like, every time I hear you, I feel dumber. Which I gotta say, like not trying to girl boss to Nikki, but I like that line. It's like better than a Donald Duck line. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.